This is uh, called Dynaflow. I've already got something to do. Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome back. Uh, this morning, I went down to the hardware to get some more tomato cages. Uh, Michelle and I were planting our garden yesterday and ran short on tomato cages. All the ones they had were damaged. They had uh, seven of them, four were damaged. Neighbor over there. They need re-soldered and re-welded. I went ahead and bought them because I needed them. Um, they were kind of bent up and whatever else. So I straightened a bunch of them out. Now I'm trying to fix them and get them back in the operation. Set my little torch up in here and show you guys how to uh, raise wire together. Okay, this morning I'm going to take my uh, cutting torch and change tips. This is for cutting metal, cutting steel. I want to cut, I don't want to raise. It's unscrews. Take that off. It's a brazing tip. Put that on like so. Get that on. Get my tip turned around so I like it. Okay, there we go. Now, basically I'm going to heat this thing up. Heat up this wire. I'll show you how I get ready to do it. Heat this wire up. Take some of this silver solder. I'm going to try a couple different things. I got silver solder. I have a thing called Dynaflow. Dynaflow is nice and smooth and clean. I'm going to try both. See which one works best. Okay, see the spot right here? I got this thing bent to where that will kind of hold itself. Otherwise, I need some person to help hold it. Now, what I'm going to do is get my torch going. Turn my acetylene on. A little flame going. A little oxygen to it. Now this is real thin wire, so it don't need a whole lot of heat. Just a little bit of a, a little tip like this is all I really need. This is called Dynaflow. All I'm going to do is heat this joint up in here. Take this Dynaflow. Kind of lay it right, right where I want it to go. Do two purposes. One, I can help hold it in place. Plus, as it melts, it'll melt into that joint. Let's hold it on the back side. That's up. I got a little puddle on there, a little bit for this side. Puddle on there, heat from the back side. Walk the bead right around. Okay, now I can take this and I well, shouldn't pull apart. I got my heat on the wrong side too much. Let me turn it over a little bit where I can get more. There we go. I'm moving it. Let it cool for a minute. There you go. Nice solid joint. One done. Try one more. Dino flow on there a little bit. Go this way with it. I gotta do. Okay, try that. 
that. Put some heat on it. That's it. That's all four of them fixed. Let that cool. Put it back in the garden. Ready to go. Anyways, this is uh, called Dynaflow. I use this for uh, doing air conditioning work, doing uh, copper to copper fittings. Obviously, it works for anything too. This is galvanized steel, so it'll work for about anything. I use it by the local hardware store. A little pricey, but uh, like I said, you can do a lot with it. So those go those those people who are looking for some kind of a uh, flux or a uh, something to weld with, brace with. Look in the Dynaflow. Okay, everybody, we call this job done for the day. I'll show you what I got, where they where they look and how they look in the garden. I need a few more, but I went down to get uh, I think I needed 13. I got seven to get a few more someplace else. I took all they had, so obviously it must be a big uh, run on tomato cages and gardening supplies because the hardware was just packed with people. Anyways. I got in there so far. You a few more for this end, and this bed be ready for tomatoes. Providing we know what know kind they are. <laughs> Anyways, like the video, give me a thumbs up. I got more coming on. I've already got something to do. I'm one of those guys that never quit. There's always something. Always something needs fixed. Always something to worked on. Something to re updated or replaced. Anyways, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And come back for more.